spark Because it's just way too dark I need the light of a flower that's fire Because I'm here to fight all these guys Hey guys, are all of you willing to smash me? Super Trash Bro! What up y'all? It's your boys Wave Game Worldwide We out here And it's been a long season Sure has. You know what day it is. It's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. You're on uh, twitch.tv slash TV, which means you're watching a Super Trash Bros episode. And the first season is coming to an end. Again, it's been a long season, but it's been cool having everybody participate, having everybody come to these streams and, and support it, watching the recap episodes on YouTube. Those are always fun. Mm -hmm. um, but it's coming to a close. We're getting ready to crown a champion here soon. Just this week, um, we have tonight... Our se first semifinal match in the Spooky Dookie division. And of course, the Spooky Dookie uh, division championship. It's only right that it's the Spooky Bo Dookie boys themselves in this match. Um, call it nepotism. Mm -hmm. you but know? we worked our way but here. We, yeah, we bust our ass with this shit. We didn't give it to ourselves. We worked our way here. Last week uh, in the Spooky Dookie division playoffs in the wild card match, Nico the wild card lost to Jesse Kitty Clap. Mm -hmm. you know, that was a banger. That's a classic match. Jesse Giddy Clap only has classic matches. Yeah. Um, she moved on to face Zaniel DeVito in the first official round of the playoffs, but Zaniel took that. I had a bye week because I, off a of technicality, since I beat him head to head in week three, um, was the first seed. So now we're actually, it's a rematch from week three. Mm -hmm. But on the other end of the, the, the bracket, mm -hmm. on the Freaky Boy division, we saw a Cinderella run happen. We have a three seed. In the in the division finals, as in the wild card round, E the Goat took on Dark Ruffalo. Mm -hmm. Dark Ruffalo took that 2-0. Mm -hmm. And then in the first official round, the two seed, Adam the First Man, mm -hmm. falls to the three seed, Dark Ruffalo here. With also another 2-0. Another 2-0, man. Dark Ruffalo not only uh, upsetting these guys, yeah. he also convincingly won convincingly won those matches so tomorrow night on wave gang wednesdays our first wave gang wednesday of 2021 mm -hmm. uh on king kong fetty's channel we're gonna have our second semi-final match for the freaky boy division the three seed dark ruffalo taking on the one seed the almighty king kong fetty who's only lost one time to sean von der Sex. but if you recall the week before that mm -hmm. he showed that he had a chink in his armor against this very man himself in what we affectionately call that match Wi-Fi gate <laughs> because well, there were some controversial events that happened there but all you got to know is Dark Ruffalo almost won that match yeah but without further ado Adieu. to announce the match that myself and Zanny are about to have the semi-finals of the Super Trash Bros League season one is Deputy Commissioner Juan Rogan Juan, Juan Rogan, Rogan. <laughs> thank you for, for being here thank you for joining us thank sir. you for having me thank you for having me Hello, I'm Deputy Commissioner Juan Rogan, tonight's host. Tonight's first Super Trash Brothers semifinal match brought to you by Wave Gang in conjunction with King Kong Fatty's Kingdom is one that I've personally been anticipating. Pimps, players, mothers, and other more reputable members of society, what is this? The main event of the evening! Best out of three, you cannot use the same character more than once, and items are more than allowed. <laughs> this match is between the Spooky Dookie boys and will determine who is spooky and who is dookie. <laughs> <laughs> they have fought before yeah. in the preseason, so this is a rematch that is dear and close to their hearts, their prides, and their integrity. Oh, in the red corner, a man who transcended gallbladders, <laughs> yet whose ego is on the line, always doing lines, making him a nervous wreck, but he does ha have a win over his opponent. Frankie for friendship! For friendship, for championships. Frankie. Let's go. Frankie, how nervous are you today? So fucking nervous, man. So um, what are your philosophies going to the first round, and what are your personal affirmations? Well, I would like to say in terms of philosophies, I always try to embody the league values that I've learned from yourself mm. and Commissioner uh, Muff Buffer, which is uh, at least two of them is integrity. So I'm gonna, I plan to play with a ton of integrity. I have nothing but respect for my opponent. Daniel DeVito. I know his skills. I know his. I know his uh, code because we are 
one half of the Spooky Dookie Boys. I feel like this is when Matt and Jeff Hardy had a really, really strong opening match at WrestleMania 21, mm -hmm. and I expect to live up to that. In terms of personal affirmations, I wake up every day, I look in the mirror, and I say, you a hustler. <laughs> that you ain't never let them see you sweat. You make your bed on... Uh, you know, often. <laughs> yeah. So did, you, are... did you make your bed today? No, no. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually been slipping on my self care uh, techniques during the holidays because I've been busy cruising with fly by night floozies. You know, so I, I'm coming into this match uh, not aligned in terms of my chakras. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna give it my best. That's all you could do. All right. All right. Well, best of luck to you tonight. I appreciate you. No problem. Uh, Juan Rogan, thank you. It's an honor being next to you. The honor's mine as well. In the blue corner, it's a man who, despite having a loss to Frankie in the past, is considered to be the Burger King of K. Rule, <laughs> is a poster child for Wendy's, and a scholar with a doctorate in pho phonics. Phonics? Phonics, yeah. Okay. Zanny DeVito! <laughs> How nervous are you, Zanny? Uh-uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty nervous, man. This I'm match nervous. is... Uh, is uh, the biggest match of my career. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is what Trash Bros is all about. There's, a, It's all about the integrity. It's all <laughs> about the opponents. It's all about the items. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. It was very nice right. to meet you, Joe. No problem. Oh, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... Let's uh, get tonight's fight on. I'm personally excited. Let's get it on! Oh, shit! Oh, man. So... Words are hard, man. I don't want to say this in an arrogant way, but I am ranked higher, so I get to choose. Mm -hmm. I, I technically win the coin flip, and I definitely want you to choose first. Of course. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear what I would choose. Um, and it's King K. Rool. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh man, so this, so yeah. I actually was anticipating you uh, selecting King K. Rool first, but I don't think I was ever fully sure on who I was going to rebut with, um, but I think it's only right. Tale as old as time. Spooky Doogie Boy. Let's get it. Good luck, man. Good luck. Oh. oh break. Break, uh, break a leg. <laughs> Ooh, on the main stage, look at that. First hit, throwing him off stage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what is this stage? Oh, it's the final a battle. Oh. Uh, so far. The game. Oh, it hasn't really shit. gotten much of a hit. Start. Oh. Oh. Start from. Now with a deep flex and a suction. James has some very good with that deep flex. Oh, Trying to keep him at a distance and hogging the items. Oh, shit. Oh, not bad. Cool. This is interesting. Yeah. It's actually a fairly small thing. I know, right? No platform. Oh. oh no! Man, they both have high percentages right now. They're both stealing. Oh, Ooh, just made it to the ledge. Ooh. Oh, oh that oh. leg! What a nice use of a. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, it made him tiny. Oh. Ooh. This is over. Well, this has been pretty, a pretty good match so far. And that deflect. Oh, nice star. Banana and I shot it the wrong way. That's that's what decided that match. Yep. So uh, it looks like you're going with Banjo right now. Yeah. Good luck to you, uh, Frankie. Who are you going to use against Banjo? I have to use Cloud. Man. This is it right here. Yep. That's all I got left, man. This is a really close match. I think uh, match-wise, they're pretty even. The perfect uh, characters to use. So. Here we go. You guys got this. with that match uh the items were definitely used um you know, pretty predominantly uh, kevin uh do you think that 
That was a good matchup for you? No. 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 It was over. When I lost to King Girl, it was over. Um, so going into the next season, what what are you going to work on? Nothing. I quit. <laughs> I'm not going to be the next season. I'm just going to fucking <laughs> run it. Well, you're definitely one of our strongest uh, opponents. So I think that um, definitely next season, you got it. No, I quit, man. No, I'll run the league. I don't want to be in it anymore. It's not worth it. This sucks. And Zany? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> being the wiener. With the wiener. <laughs> being the wiener. <laughs> up tonight. How do you feel? The biggest wiener. Uh, oh, man. You seem to be conflicted inside. I feel like we just need to run it back because he beat me the first time and I beat him the second time. I think there needs to be a, a third a third run back just to be clear. But you know, I'm not the commissioner. That's all that matters. You won't let it matter. You got it. Oh. It feels good at the same time. It's bittersweet, you know. Mm-hmm. But I am going to the finals, so I got that to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, but who I have to face in the finals is not going to be easy. If you somehow beat Vinny, that's that's going to have me shook, and I don't know how I'm going to go into it. And if you don't beat Vinny, I already know what's coming. Yeah. It also feels like it, it's kind of coming with an asterisk with Sean not being here. You won, though. Right? You oh, did it. Thank you, man. So uh, I guess Good moving game. forward, uh, you are going to be in the finals. Have you thought about the consequence? You're going to... Uh, the punishment you're going to give the loser? <laughs> I definitely have not. Um, but now that I've made it to the finals, I definitely was, I definitely was just trying to focus on where I was at the time and not, not look too far ahead because that's when you get distracted, you know, Juan. Tomorrow night we have the darkest of Ruffalo's versus the villainous Vinny. <laughs> and boy, is that gonna be a <laughs> fucking banger? It's uphill battle, but. Let's see. Wave Gang Worldwide presents Super Trash Bros! Season 1! We're in the semifinals. The season's almost over. From the creators of Spooky Dookie Boys. And Wave Gang Wednesday is in conjunction with King Kong Fetty's Kingdom. Shout out to the Kingdom. Thank you for having us on Wednesday. Pimps, players, mothers, and other more reputable members of the (laughs) What is this? The main 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 Three rounds, best of three rounds. No characters could be more used more than once, but items are more suddenly welcome. So shoot me, I'm the commissioner. Blame me. Don't yell at my friends. They didn't make this decision, it was me. Blow in the blue corner. This man has been on a Cinderella run, akin to Cinderella herself. If only, but is there he, he kind of looks like one of the seven dwarfs though. So we're mixing <laughs> Disney references. We call him Dark Ruffalo. We call him a friend. We call him sometimes the Filipino Hoja. Because look at him. <laughs> he wants to take King Kong Fetty to church. Dark Ruffalo. Anything? Give us a, give us a catchphrase right now, Dark Ruffalo. That's the only question I got for you. Um, take it easy on me. In the red oh. corner. This man... Is it nearly undefeated if it wasn't for Sean? Sean's somewhere in Austria laughing, an <laughs> evil laugh. But this man is nearly untouchable. However, a few weeks, I think it was week two or week three, when they when Dark Ruffalo and King Kong Fetty first met, Dark Ruffalo made King Kong Fetty bleed. And he showed us that gods can't bleed. However, after King Kong Fetty lost to Sean Van der Sex, King Kong Fetty came back and he went Super Saiyan. I don't. I just don't know if he is Vegeta or Goku, but he is definitely as sexy as Bulma, King Kong Fetty of the North. Do you have a catchphrase for us, King Kong Fetty? Um, I'm I'm here to chew ass and kick bubblegum, and I'm all out of ass. Hell yeah! Oh, man. Let's it's get it, on. everyone. Anyone's ass could get chewed. So as you know, we normally do. A coin flip, but since we're in the playoffs now, your record matters. King Kong Fetty finished higher in the league. He's won the coin toss. King Kong Fetty, do you want Dark Ruffalo to choose his character first? Yeah. Or do you want him to choose? You're picking first. 
Okay. Dark Ruffalo, okay. please okay. tell us out loud who you're choosing because we cannot see your screen. Ooh, I am going to go for Ike. Ike! Ike. Ether! Ether! Right off the bat, we're getting Ike, and it... It looks it like looks King like, Oh, wait. We're getting ourselves a sword fight! A it's Roy sword versus boys. Ike. Oh my Two god. Roy? From the, same, from the okay. same game fighting each other. This is crazy. Gonna make so sure I, would... I have the right controls. Okay, good, I do. I just want to make sure everybody knows before we even get into this match, <laughs> right? thank you so much, Dark Ruffalo. Thank you so much, King Kong Fetty, for your participation in our league. The reason why it's been so successful this fourth season, this first season is because of both of you, and I thank you. Okay, here we go again. Here we go, here we go. What fucking stage is this? I think it's fine, though. Here we go. A redo. Oh, my God. Ethers. That up B. He likes that up B. Oh shit. You feel the tension? It's so quiet. It's such it's kinda like the match from last night. <laughs> except I'm stakes. having except I'm having much more fun. The stakes are so high. King Kong Fetty grabs the first uh plane part there. Both kind of hovering in the high eighties, nineties, it's kill zone time. We're in the kill zone. This is a really close match. King Kong oh, Fetty with some up airs. Oh, what the fuck? oh, there's the first stock taken by King Kong Fetty. But and Dark Ruffalo gets the, gets the special. Oh shit, I miss it. He misses it. it. He Kevin's the special. Completely, completely wasted. King Kong Fetty still at a high percentage though. Dark Ruffalo is going to need a pretty quick kill here to keep it competitive. Gets another part. Shields through that hole. Ooh, some neutrals there. Good catch. Here comes a juggle. Oh, oh. He tried to counter it, but it... Oh! Oh, oh and oh. that's his one per match. Yeah. It's almost like he's penalizing himself. <laughs> and that should do it. King Kong Fetty is going to 3-0 this first round unless... He could do he dodges it. It's good spot dodge there from from fucking Dark Ruffalo. Still an uphill battle here. An ether. Having a hard time finishing the deal on this first stock. You just can't seem to put it away. There's right now. there it is. He he finally did it. Took took a little bit. They're even in percentage, but King Kong Fetty's up a stock. Mm -hmm. Through oh, Mr. Ooh. Saturn on him, that's it. a... Ah! Oh, and that should do oh, it. Wow. King Kong Fetty takes the first stock. Oh. It's almost like Dark Ruffalo penalized himself. Oh, mm -hmm. like committing suicide. Um, but let, let's... Zadie, any questions for anybody here? No, not really. Um, it was a clear, decisive battle. It was very, very diff back and forth, but I felt like um, Vinny definitely had a hold of that win. Vinny, you are ranked cool. higher. Do you want Dark Ruffalo to choose a character first, no. or do you want? Uh, I'm choosing first. Uh, I'm going. He's going random. random. Holy okay. shit! Random. Dark okay. Ruffalo, what say you? Holy shit! This is happening in the semifinals, and Dark Ruffalo is is oh, throwing. Man. All the marbles, all the spaghetti against the wall. And I'm making an offering. Oh, wait, hold, offering. hold on. He's going to pull a Nico strategic offer. Brought to you by I, I, Mentos. I already did. What, what's the offer? Hold on, you got to tell the crowd. What's the offer? Uh, yeah. I, I just made a, a Prime subscription to uh, 
the Kong Fetty. <laughs> oh, he's making an offer to the RNG god. Thank you for the Prime subscription who are you to picking? King Kong Fetty. <laughs> oh, he's picking Richter. Yeah, he, he said he was picking Richter. Oh, I didn't Here we that. go. I thought he was making a strategic Ooh. request like Nico did too. to me. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, no. Wario. This, Wait, this actually is a, this is a good matchup, but remember, during King Kong Fetty used, war, used to main Wario. No, I, I did <laughs> And do you hear that? That's one winged angel playing right now. It's hype, bro. This is ever. This is all the, the whole season for Dark Ruffalo comes comes to this round here. Oh my goodness, he is just getting smacked around right now. He had a good start, but Wario's coming back in a vengeance. Ooh, blowing real talk. Up a bike. Wario's tilts are fucking <laughs> are fucking dope. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, but Wario's about to get the friend, and it's Armadillo Willy. He's here to show you what's about the cornbread. What's about the cornbread? <laughs> yeah, what? Let's <laughs> get late. Oh, oh that's what's up. one for Madge. I'm, divul oh. I'm divulging. You can't, you all right, can't all right, all right. do one. Oh, look at the integrity. Remember, that's two of the four values of this league is integrity. It's intensity, integrity, intelligence, and integrity. And he just the... keeps hitting him with that fire. It's that doing big water. ups damage. It got reversed on him, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see if Wario can take it back. Wario Ooh. closes the Booty distance smack. and booty bumps him. He, I haven't been seeing Dark Ruffalo try to pull oh. out the... Oh, my God. God that's, damn it. That's his... Ah. Ruffalo killed and himself. Look at the, Fuck. All right. King Confetti just with so integrity. much integrity. Too much integrity. It's a Scandinavian show. Dark Ruffalo it's... will never be able to defeat King Confetti if he continues to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it all comes down to this. It's all the marbles, all the peanuts. All the spaghetti has been thrown against the wall. All of mom's spaghetti is on oh, my t-shirt. Right he has over. the special way, hold on. Oh He's putting... no. And honestly, if he gets this win, he better thank King Kong Fetty for the integrity. I, I, I am already thankful. Oh, it's, we're not sure just yet. But look, we're already in the North Cave. Let's see if, Ooh. let's see if. King Kong Fetty has gotten Wario into the kill zone here. Let's see if he could actually close the deal. Oh, what happened? Wi-Fi gate! Oh, 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 we're good, we're good. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Safer Sephiroth. There, there's the high wind is flying in the back. So, you know it's getting real. Here comes Meteor. Ooh. Hits him with a fucking crate. He's a, now a bunny rabbit. Oh, Remember, that means it. the boomerang. Oh, Wario just farted. Oh, smacked <laughs> him. And that's it. He that's could game. It had well, to go down that Kong way. Fetty did everything he could to give that round to Dark Ruffalo. <laughs> Dark Ruffalo just hand did not want handicap. to accept the present. Oh, wow. no. What a disappointing semifinal match. <laughs> Fuck. I've never seen somebody not want to win so bad. Damn. <laughs> And I'm talking about King Kong Fetty. King Kong Fetty wanted to win that round so bad. He did. Oh, he was trying to give it to him so much. He gave you random. He killed himself twice. I, yo, as a wrestling fan, I just want to shout out King Kong Fetty for trying to maintain kayfabe and try to push it to a third round. So he was like, <laughs> but Queen Kong's like, no, dude, I want to uh, lose, dude. <laughs> I want to be over with oh, this. Oh, man. Queen Kong, remember how I felt last night when I, like, genuinely lost? Yeah. Did you feel like that right now, or do you kind of feel like you just like blew this? <laughs> well, yes and no, because I think like I just wanted to get to a third match. I didn't really, so that was kind of shitty. I felt bad. It sucks that I killed myself. God damn it! You killed yourself so uh, like that was one of the main things. All three times we talked about. I didn't even... was like, dude, don't kill yourself. And he yeah. killed himself. Fuck, man. Man, I gotta say, especially the first match before we stopped. I uh, mean, it was just like blow for that was, blow. Like, Great Good match. Trades. I feel like I just kind of uh, got to like button matchy afterwards. That um, yeah. yeah, fuck, yeah. Like Adam, it says in the <laughs> chat here, Dark Ruffalo is his own worst enemy, and I feel like we didn't see Dark Ruffalo face King Kong Fetty. Yeah, you know I mean, I feel like we saw yeah. Dark Ruffalo face his own his himself, man. But it's still, that first round was really exciting. Uh, Dark Ruffalo, your run has been exciting. What a Cinderella story it's been.
going from you're definitely one of the most improved players of the league. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a big question that that Commissioner uh, Muff Buffer has asked asked me to ask you, and so that is, will you be extending your contract and returning for season two? I will be extending my contract and next season prepare for a, a Dark Ruffalo that loves life. Ooh, see, that's Dark Ruffalo. Thank you so much for your contribution. And I'm sure next season we're going to see a very dangerous Dark Ruffalo. But we're going to turn the mic over now to the winner of the Freaky Boy division in season one of Super Trash Bros, King Kong Fetty. King Kong Fetty, this season, it was it definitely was a uh, you've shown that you are the big boss of uh, the Super Trash Bros League. I, I get I remember when when you lost to King Kong Fetty, you said you or to, to sorry to Sean Von der Sex, you you said that you told us to expect a whole different beast. And since then, you have not lost one round. Okay, I don't know if you noticed that after you lost to Sean, every single match after that. You haven't even lost a round. That's true. Are you a man on the mission? What, tell, talk us through your mindset the last few weeks and going into the finals. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, my mindset has not changed. Um, I'm, just had, I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> that son of a bitch is so casual about killing us, man. He's so casual about it. I am. Yes. I'm, I'm here. I'm here to take 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 the money. Take take the big the big the big dollar. I'm here. You might have your biggest challenge since Sean Von der Sex coming up next week. I hate to admit this because I still don't think he's necessarily better than me. But he, but after last night, I can't say nothing. He too owed me. It is what it is. I'm contemplating suicide every day. <laughs> it's been one day since then, but this whole, all 20 hours of it so far, I've been close. So you're, you're facing a Zandy DeVito that's primed and trying to take the crown here. Uh, what are your thoughts coming into next week? Do you have any do you have any strats that you want to share with the with us? Anything like that? Um I don't know, I'll just keep it spontaneous. Do you have any messages to your opponent in the first ever stupid bowl, Zaniel DeVito? Two words. Two O. Oh, oh! <laughs> I can't wait! I, I, I can't wait till King Kong Fetty beats this motherfucker, man. Normally, I'm like, yo, I want to see an upset. But hell no, I want to see King Kong Fetty 2 0 Zandy. Fuck you, James, you ruined my life! Color spark because it's just way too dark. I need the light of a flower that's fire. Because I'm here to fight all these guys. Hey guys, are all of you willing to smash me? Super Trash Bros!